You may not know, but YouTube recently changed how monetization is done for videos. Because of that, you may see corporate sponsors in some of the videos you watch. I want you to rest assured that you will never see corporate sponsors in my videos. Pepsi would be really refreshing, you know that? What's up everybody? Today, for our three minute tip, we're gonna talk about how to shoot the jump shot. Key to intro. For me personally, the jump shot is one of the harder graphs to get. It has to do with the timing of the shot and the fact that the defender is usually in front of the ball handler. So it takes some practice and some skill to, to pull this image off. Typical jump shot is going to be one such as this in which the shooter is coming up off the floor taking the shot and the defender is trying to get in his face. Without the defender there's no conflict in the shot and it's a little less interesting although it does make good photos of one particular player. This particular photo you see the shooter and then the defender coming into the shooter's framed by one of his own players on the right hand side of the photo here is to make sure that his face is what is in focus. We have one that I've cropped a little tighter. Again, the defender is challenging the shooter. Shooter's face is in focus. The ball is up clear. Again, with the jump shot, because you have a defender that's getting in front of the player and the ball is getting in front of the player as he's bringing it up through his motion, that is what makes this shot so difficult to get. This is one in which the player is in the lane, challenged from the front and rear by defenders. Sitting at the corner of the baseline in order to get this shot, if I was under the basket, I probably would not be able to pull this off because of where the arms are of the defenders. Again, you're looking for that emotion, you're trying to get the action of the shot and the conflict between the defender and the ball handler. Might need to take a break for a little refreshment. Man, that's good. This is another one. This is actually a couple of frames after the front, the shot you just saw. There's going up, you've got a profile shot of him, and he's you can see he's pretty close to the basket. And he's just taking the shot. There's not a lot of conflict directly in his face as the defender is set and not even challenging the shot other than holding his hands up. Here's one in which one of the post players is doing a little left hand hook. Again, the you have some conflict because the defender is on the shooter, but the shooter is very well the subject of the photo here. As you've got his face, the ball is on his hand, and you can see his focus on the shot. Here's one that's off of a dribble drive. Again, it's a shot. This is not really a jump shot, but it is a shot. The player's being challenged from the rear as he drove through the lane and is about to put the ball up to the basket. I don't have the ball where it's over his head because the player's just not shooting like that. He's actually shooting from the waist up as he flicks the ball upward. I bet after a drive like this, he would really like something to kind of cool him off a little. Dunks are always a shot that people like to get. I'll show you here is to follow through on the dunk. I don't have uh, shots after this sequence I'm about to show you, but many times after a dunk, there's going to be a lot of emotion that comes from the player, and you want to make sure you capture it all the way through, including afterwards. But here you see the player has driven. There's conflict with the defender. You have four of the defensive team watching him as he's driven through the lane. Then the next sequence, he's powered back with the ball. Again, you have the defender that's challenging the shot. And then he follows through with the dunk. The defender has missed the power, the emotion, and the face. That's what you're looking for on the jump shot and any shot. Just to get the conflict, the player with the ball in focus, and the ball in the photo in most cases. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. That's gonna help with this whole YouTube monetization thing. And I've got videos here and here that you may enjoy watching as well. See you next time. You know, making these videos 
is about as much work as it is playing basketball. Sure could use a Pepsi right now.